So, of course, with the release of Pokemon TCG Life just around the corner and PDCGO shutting down forever, the Legacy format is going to be leaving us. And, of course, one of my favorite cards of all time, Yon Mega Prime, is going to be leaving too. Yet, yeah, Mega Prime will be gone forever, basically from being able to be played on the Pokemon TCG online games and it is one of my favorite cards of all time it's so fun to play it's so versatile and i am going to really miss playing yen mega prime if you guys want to show your support on the legacy content one last time uh, before legacy has gone leaving a like on the video would be greatly appreciated to show your support of course with legacy going i know a lot of people are pretty upset about it i'm sad too of course now in today's video i'm actually gonna be doing three different decks in one um i was gonna play just yen mega Agnizone. I wanted to try out a different Yen Mega build, but I'm like, why not just play three Yen Mega Prime variants in one video to give the send off to one of my favorite cards ever made, um, which I think is pretty cool. I'm going to be playing Yen Mega Magnezone Kingdra, or other words, Prime Time. I'm going to be trying out my personal favorite deck I have ever built, my Mew Prime Yen Mega Vile Plume deck. This was an awesome deck. I did pretty well with it in an online tournament with it um, last year. And then I'm also going to be playing a Flareon Yen Mega deck, which is another pretty popular Yen Mega deck. This is a really good Ver Ver Verizian Genesect counter. Um, so this is what we're going to be playing today, our three different builds of Yen Mega to give it a proper send off. So yeah, before we get the video, of course, shout out to this monster card, Kevin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking to get any PDCGO pan codes, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are ever looking to pick up any specific codes like Evolving Skies, or maybe you want to get, you know, a cheap set that is really cheap to get so you can build them up on your account for when pokemon tcg Live comes out and those packs will turn into crystals or maybe if you're looking to pick up irl pokemon tcg singles card cabin sells them too if they have a specific card you're looking for in stock get them at card cabin if you get anything at card cabin at the checkout use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your purchase to help the channel help yourself out and up our card cabin so yeah shout out card cabin check them out use call ldf so yeah these are the three yeah, mega decks i'm playing i'm going to start off with yeah, mega magnezone uh, Kingdra, Yamega Magnezone was actually one of the most popular decks from way back in the day. Um, but in Legacy, it's it's okay. It's it's still good. It's not amazing, but it's still pretty good. It's a lot of fun to play too. Of course, Yamega Prime's big niche is it can attack for zero energy with its Poke Body. If you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, the attacks of Yen Mega will cost zero, which is fantastic. Of course, it does have two attacks, Linear Attack, doing 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, and then Sonic Boom, which can do 70 damage and isn't affected by weakness or resistance, which is pretty solid. And of course, with the Magnezone build, we are going to use Magnetic Draw to draw a, a handful of six, which can sometimes help us match our opponent's hand or set up more Pokemon. And we have Lost Burn as a big one-hit KO option attack. And then we have Kingdra Prime, which is a pretty good attacker. One energy can do 60 damage unless your opponent has a fire Pokemon in play. And then it has Spray Splash, where you can put a damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So it's a bit of a worse quick shooting, obviously, but it's still kind of cool in Legacy. And then, of course, the Yen Mega Flareon deck. Um, this is basically just a pretty good uh, Verizian Genesect counter. Flareon is a great fire Pokemon in Legacy. Doing 20 plus Temer damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile. We build up Pokemon in the discard. We attack with Yen Megas and stuff in the game. And then we turn the Yen Megas, you know, into the Flareon. And then Flareon kind of finishes things off. Since we're a fire-based deck, we can easily beat Verizian Genesect. And then, of course, my personal favorite custom deck of all time, my Mew Prime Yen Mega Vileplume deck. Of course, I did do pretty well in an online Pokestats tournament playing against some big players in the tournament so it was a pretty pretty stacked tournament of big players within the pokemon tcg and i got fourth place with the deck um it's one of my personal favorite decks to play this is kind of like a very big brain chess type of deck like there's a lot of plays you can make with this deck there's a lot of different strategies you have vile plume is one of the craziest cards in legacy with its pokey body where each player can't play trainers from their hand and without any gust supporter in the format vile plume is nearly unstoppable um, and of course, Mew Prime can use its attack C off, which can throw Jump Bluff or Muck in the Lost World. Jump Bluff makes it a nice one energy attacker. And then Muck, Sludge Strike can be very annoying when your opponent is under item lock. And Yamega is just a nice strong attacker. The attacks for no energy while you're under, while your opponent's under item lock can be really, really good. Um, I like this deck a lot. It's one of my favorite decks I've ever, ever, ever made, to be honest. Um, and, uh, these are the three Yamega decks I'm going to be playing today. I'm going to go with, um, Prime time, then Mew, Yen Mega Vile Plume, and then I'm gonna finish things off with the Flareon Yan Mega deck to send off my personal favorite card, Yen Mega, when it eventually leaves for EDCGO shutting down. It's been a journey. Legacy was an awesome format. I still have a massive Legacy stream planned, which is actually gonna be announced within the coming days, because apparently TCG Live is releasing on November 6th. 
So I'm going to have to announce that early or soon. So expect a big legacy stream soon where you guys can battle me and play against me and all that stuff, which is going to be awesome. So I'm going to announce that very soon. But this will probably be the last legacy video on the channel that I record. So let's get into those matches. All right, here we go. Let's get into our first game here with the primetime deck. We do win the coin flip, which is good. So I will go first here and try to get a good setup, which, well, <laughs> got all of, we got ultra balls. That's for sure. Um, hmm. We'll probably get a Magnemite here, and then I'll probably Ultra Ball for Yen Mega for next turn. Fine by me. Okay, Horsey's good. So we can Ultra Ball. Oh, wait, this and this. Not playing against a legit competitive deck, though. Not much I can do about that. Legacy is not a very populated format, so... Can't do much about that. I'm not gonna... I'm not going to attach Magnemite, because we need to probably Ultra Ball next turn for the Yen Mega. If we draw Yen Mega, though, that'd be pretty good. But what does this do? It uses me? That's annoying. This thing has 80 HP too. We can't get one shot, bruh. We can try to hit it with Ingra. Ooh, we get rid of Junk Arm. We'll grab Yamega here. And we just have to end them to six. And then we just got to play one card from our hand that is playable. There we go. Ooh, we got Rare Candy. We have Rare Candy Magnezone, so we can go ahead and do that. Oh, we could get Kingdra too. No, we have to go Magnezone because we can't match their hand otherwise. That's fine. We'll get the Magnezone here. Put that into play right away. And then we can do Magnetic Draw. We're not going to be able to draw... Well, we can't play any cards from our hand off of this. But that, that, I mean, it's still better we get this in play, obviously. Draw four cards. Not going to play the Bangle because... I don't know. And then we're just going to Sonic Boom. They're going to confuse me next turn, but we can try to KO them with... With Kingdra, potentially. We didn't make that draw into a Kingdra, though. I have her candy in my discard pile, though, for Junk Arm. I'll probably just play Professor Oak's New Theory. Just go from there. We'll see what happens. We could even KO this thing with, like, maybe Horsey if we can find a water. Fine, though. Once we get the Kingdra in play, we can take down this Kangaskhan. Again, we're not playing against a competitive deck. Again, Legacy, even with Legacy cards being super cheap, the format is still not very populated, so it's still hard to find, like, matches against, like, legit good decks. Um... And it can take a while to record legacy content. All right, so they are going to build up that white Kiram, which means they are just going to confuse me. I thought they were going to do Dizzy Punch, to be honest. This thing isn't that scary, though. You can easily take it out with Magnuson. All right, let's we'll see we draw. Ooh. Got the rare candy. We can get the Kingdra in play, but we have to discard, like, pretty much most of our hand, which I don't want to do. Hmm. I'll just play Pawn. It's fine. You don't have to KO them. Okay. Um. We could just flip to attack, right? We have 70 HP. Okay, I'm a dizzying punch. I don't think that's worth it. We can... Floatstone. We can play Max Potion. And then we can Magnetic Draw and see if we can find the Kingdra. We got the Kingdra. We didn't get the rare candy, though. Hmm. I mean, we'll flip to attack, I guess. It's fine. There's Bench Horsey. And then Sonic Boom. Beautiful. We get the KO. Nice. I wanted to get another Yamma down there, or even another Magnemite, but we'll see what we got the prizes. Judge. Perfect. Judge will be good for next turn. But yeah, we got the Magnezone in play, which is good. So we have basically the ability to just constantly draw into a big hand, which is the point. Um... You two, that's not scary. They play Garbodor, that's fine. But her whole deck is Pokey Powers and Pokey Bodies. And they grab a Chandelure. Oh, that's fine. I guess if they have a good hand here, they can potentially Dragon Steep. They could have a DC in their hand. If they have a DC, they can actually KO my Yen Mega, which would be kind of hilarious. Um, they have a one card hand, though. What are the chances? What? Dude, no way. Oh my god. They might actually get a KO here. They just need a double color synergy, and this thing can actually KO me with... Oh no, they know a way to can't. Never mind. I think I saw the water. I was like, oh, never mind. It can't KO me. They have a water energy in their attack cost. Okay. Let's see we draw. Oh, there's the rare candy. Which... Yeah, we might as well put the Kingdra into play. There's no reason not to. 
You can junk arm here. Get rid of the calm and the magnazone. Grab rare candy. How many junk arms do we have left? Still have two. So rare candy into Kingdra. And we can't KO this thing anytime soon, obviously. But what we can do is... We can do magnetic draw first. And then we'll probably just judge them here and put their hand down low. And that seems fine to me. Bench this. Retreat. And yeah, we'll judge him. Now, where do I want to put the power spray? We're doing 100 damage. So, I mean, we might as well hit the chandelure. Yeah, we'll hit the chandelure with power spray. And then we'll just... Or spray splash, sorry. Power spray? Bro, spray splash. Then we'll sonic boom for 100. The next turn, we can go back into the Yen Mega that's heavily damaged to KO them and save the silver bangle for a rainy day. Sure. But yeah, basically at this point, we're pretty much set up. We have a bunch of prime Pokemon in play. They can probably KO my Yen Mega, actually. Yeah, they'll probably KO me. They have no energy to discard. They have to find a fire... Well, they have to find a energy to KO me. They found it. But that means they don't have energy on anything else, so it's not that bad. Fine. Sure. They found a Twins. That's not good. <laughs> that gets many two cards they want, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I don't think they can get much here to stop me, though. Unless they have, like, a Pokemon Catcher in the deck, they could try to flip heads, KO my Magnezone, which would kind of suck. But then, yeah, Mega stays alive. That's why I want to break the Bangle. They had a Reshi Ram. Again, not the greatest deck on the planet, but they're putting up a pretty good fight. To be honest, they are putting up a very good fight here. Which is a little scary. Unfortunately, Kingdra Prime's attack is pretty weak now because of the Fire Pokemon in play. We need to find Super Rod. Get the camera with a heavily damaged thing, which means we get knocked out by Glinting Claw. I mean, that's their first prize card taken, though. Let's see if they take. It's most... I, I imagine it's going to be the double color synergy. If I take a guess here, they're going to grab the DC. But if they do that, we could try to KO them. No, they didn't grab the DC. We could try to KO Magnezone by setting up damage on this thing. We can go... Ray Splash, the Reshi Ram. We can bench this. Attach this. Magnetic Draw. We can find another rare candy. We can get double Kingdra Prime in play. No, eh, wishful thinking. We can judge him again. And then we can... Okay, that's good. We got energy for next turn, which is nice. And then we can just Sonic Boom. So this thing will probably KO me with Glinting Claw. They don't even need to flip. So they just need energy to KO me. But then we can go Magnezone Prime. There's Rare Candy. Okay, we could go Pokecom here, get another Kingdra down. Or a second Magnezone. I think we just want to get Kingdra. We'll see what happens. I don't want my Magnezone to get KO'd next turn, which I don't think it will. Um, they KO my Yen Mega, and then we have the Magnezone to respond with and KO them back. Yeah, they're going to take damage with Chandelier. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, Magnezone can KO them here. And we'll see where this takes us. We can knock them out Magnezone. We're going to lose our energy. We have to put in the Lost Zone, but that's fine. Then we go back into Yen Mega, and then hopefully Yen Mega can clean the rest of the game up here. I don't think they got much. Again, they're not playing a very great deck. Most of the Pokemon in play are pretty terrible attackers. So they knock me out. The second prize. Let's see what they grab. I don't know what they grabbed. I, I'm, I expected them to get Mewtwo there, but I guess not. All right. Then we can go... We can do a lot here. We can... I'm trying to think what I want to do. Well, here's what, I, here's what I'm going to do. I have, I have my game plan. We're going to hit the Victini with Spray Splash. We're going to... Attach a water energy here. Um, we're going to computer search. Actually, I think I'm just going to KO them. Well, we still have magnetic draw. How many rare candies do we have left? Two. I'll keep the energy around, and then we'll computer search for Yen Mega. And then, yeah, I'm not worried about getting another stage two in play quite yet. That's why I'm not like, eh, we don't really need another Magnezone or Kingdra at the moment anyways. There's Super Rod. We will play that. Put back. Mm, yeah, Mega Magnezone and uh, Yenma. And then we will knock out the Reshi Ram. I can end them to four while I'm at it. Why not? Just put their hand down low. And then all we have to do next turn is match their hand and then just Lanier attack Victini for game with a Spray Splash. That is why I set up the damage there with Magnezone. So this is Level Ball. Thin out the deck. Grab a Yenma. Bench it and Lost Burn. So we got to ditch all the energy here for the KO, but that will do 150 damage, which will kill the Reshiram thanks to the damage we try to set with Kingdra Prime. And we'll take our prizes 
And next turn, we should have game by sniping the Victini, unless they bench a Mr. Mime, which... I mean, they're at this point, they're just playing a bunch of legacy cards that they own, so they might have a Mime, they might not. Um, yeah, if they don't stop me, the best thing they can do is try to stick Magnezone. We, like, we have to get rid of my... They have to get rid of my tool to stop me here. They are my tool card. I need to find a switch or a junk arm. And then I can move. But if they don't, we are going to win the game by going linear attack, sniping the Victini here, and winning the game. So yeah, that should be pretty straightforward. Um, they have a bicycle. They, they can't mention Mr. Mime now, though, so it doesn't really matter. Unless they play a super scoop up, which I doubt. So yeah, this should be a game. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, this deck is all about the power of the Prime Pokemon. Oh, they're reflipping. No, they're not. The power of the Prime Pokemon. As you can see, Primes are not to be messed with. And then we just retreat into Omega. We can actually just do this. Play our hand down a little bit. And then we can just Spray Splash the Victini for 10 damage. And then knock it out with Linear Attack. And they can see the game. There we go. That's basically the deck in a nutshell. Use the Omega. Build up Magnezone in the background. Kingdrift supplies you with extra damage output and sometimes a pretty good one energy attacker. And there you go. Okay, we won the coin flip here. We're going to go first with the Mew Prime yeah, Mega deck. And we just start with the Yanma. All right. Um, We do have the Vile Plume in our hand and a Oddish. Or if we draw an Oddish, we have Computer Search for a Candy. We're playing against Evile Eggs. All right, we definitely need to put Vile Plume in play then. Um, Do I grab Oddish? They have Smeargle, so we're going to get Judged. You know what? I think we want to get Cleffa then. Because we're most likely going to get Judged here, right? We'll grab Smeargle. Or grab Cleffa. Because we're most likely going to see a Judge from my opponent. Um. Yep, yeah, that's fine. We're probably going to get Judged. But basically, our game plan is put Vile Plume in play and shut off the Weavile Eggs. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a turn 2 Vile Plume. But that's fine. They have to Judge themselves, which will help me out quite a bit. And... Yeah, we're either going to just retreat into Cleffa, try to build up a hand with Eek, or we're going to go back into Yanmega. Okay, yeah, definitely going Cleffa. We, we got some basics, so we need to find an Oddish, though. I really need to get the Vile Plume down. And fortunately, my judge, yeah, that judge did nothing. And they still got a Juniper. They got rid of two Junipers, though, which will help us when we try to lock them out of the game later on. Hmm. Yeah, they got... This deck plays a lot of items. That's why I want to get the Vile Plume in play. But they have no Execute in the discard yet. That was a good draw. We can attach that and put that onto Yanma. Bench another Yanma. Go Cleffa. We'll bench another Mew and then we'll just eek and then hope we get a good hand. Now they're going to get another portrait here most likely because we get to play another supporter. And they get an Oak and a Twins. But we finally got the Oddish, but we woke up. Oh no. That's not good. I was hoping we would stay asleep. Hmm. They have another Juniper. I don't mind the wasting Juniper though, because it's just that's that makes it better for us when we try to put their hand down really low with a Judge or an N when we put the Vile Plume in play. I know they have Electrode, but when they can't play items, the Electrode is kind of not very good. Do they have a KO? They need literally just one Pokemon, so they probably have it. They don't do Portrait, which is really good. Um because they don't get a second chance at better hand. I think we're just gonna go see off here. We're gonna use this opportunity just to build up with C off. Um, yep. Yeah. I'll use this opportunity to see off. We can do twins too. I can hold twins and then just rare candy vile plume next turn. And then I just promote Yanma and we get Mr. Mime down. They can't go hail. I think that's our game plan. We have Mr. Mime in the deck? We do. Oh, good. Oh my god. We prize jump fluff and muck. Bruh. Oh no, jump fluff's in our hand. But we prize muck. Huh. Well, I mean, the only thing really to ditch is, like, Sigil, if I guess. We don't really need it. Rip. I mean, maybe maybe we get to use Sigil if at some point in the game. Probably not, though. I mean, it's a pretty useless card. So, honestly, it thins out the deck by one card. And as long as we don't get End here into a bad hand, we should be able to go Vile Plume here, promote Yanma, and they can't stop it. The best thing they can do is try to hail me. Um, but until I find... Um, until I find Mr. Mine, we should be okay. Oh, there's Stellar again. We didn't play a supporter from our hand, so I'm hoping they're I'm hoping they don't end me. Perfect. Because we didn't do anything with our hand, right? And that was another reason why I didn't want to play the twins, because it makes it look like my hand is dead. Um, so they don't end me, so I could just play the twins and guarantee the vile plume. And it paid off. Um Now they're most likely gonna KO my Mew, which is fine. Mew's I'm well, psychic's not bad, actually. Right? 
Well, they have resistance to Psychic. So Mew's kind of a bad attacker anyways. However, Mass Attack is still decent in this matchup. Same with Sludge Drag. But it looks like Mew's going to be wasted. As long as they don't get a Tool Scrapper here, we should be able to... Yeah, there they go, Vilify. So, oh, they don't even KO me. I'm surprised they have not had an execute yet. All right, we're just going to Twins, Rare Candy, Vile Plume. And that should just be the end of the game because my opponent now literally cannot damage Yanma. They can, I guess they can confuse Raimi. That's 10 damage. So we're going to actually retreat in the Enma here. We're going to attach the Rainbow Energy to the Mew, and we are going to pass. And they can't do much. The best thing they can do is attack with Sableye, or they can go with Hail. That's why we need to put Mr. Mime in place so they can't just use Hail. Um, I think we'd be able to take all their prizes before the Hail wipes my bench, but we have low HP Pokemon in play already, so... We just need to make sure we get Mr. Mime. As long as Vileplume doesn't ever get KO'd, we should be okay, though. So, I don't think that really matters. They have no way to remove my tool, right? No tool scrapper available because of the Vileplume's in play. Yeah. Okay, so we need to get Mime down. There's Yen Mega. That's beautiful. We can actually KO them here. Probably should have played the DC, actually. No Mr. Mime. We could see off the Jump Luff in the Lost Zone. Tempting. I think we just do Sonic Boom. Or we can Linear Attack, hit the Sableye, and just try to KO it. We have Level Ball in our hand. We do still have some trainers left, so I mean, it's not guaranteed. Um, We can take out the Sableye so they can't confuse me. Yeah, sure. We'll go after the Sableye here. Make them have a Dark Energy, and they're in our item lock. And again, Weavile Eggs plays a ton of items. All right, we need to get Mr. Mime down this turn, though, or else we're going to get bodied. Well, actually, we can't even play... We can't even play, um... We can't Oak, actually. Hmm. We can't do Oak, because their hand is seven cards, and we can't match that. We could go... Thea off. Oak. Tempting. Very tempting. We can KO the Sableye here. They're going to be ahead in prizes, which means we get twins. Like, all we need to do is find the Mr. Mime. Right? Like, that. once we find Mr. Mime, the game's just over. Oh, Muck was... Oh, I didn't even realize Muck was discarded. Okay, well, never mind. Let's retreat. Um, no, it's fine. We'll just attack. I, I did some thinking. We'll attack him. I don't know. Doing C off would have been okay, too. But, I mean, really, we're not trying to use Mew. We're just using Yen Mega to win the game. Right. The only benefit I can see Mew having, though... I don't know. I mean, if we don't find Mr. Mime soon, our board is going to get wiped. Uh, their hand is very big, too. Hmm. We don't have to be attacking them every turn, though. So I think we're going to try to go for the attack here, I think. We can even attach to the Yamega to have it attack. Well, Oak, we need to just dig, I think. Even if we can't attack on this turn, we need to just find the Mr. Mime. Didn't get We got Chorus, though, which is really good for next turn. And we might as well do C off here. They'll get another prize. It doesn't matter, though, because we'll C off. Get rid of Jump Luff. Another deck by one card. We need to find Twins. Twins guarantees us Mr. Mime. Then we can Chorus here. Probably bench Mewtwo. They can hail me again. But... I mean, they have to do they have to do nine hails to KO my thing. Ooh, they do have Sneasel. Okay, they do have Beat Up, which is actually kind of a problem. Fine, though. Okay, well, now I'm actually kind of scared. That Sneasel could actually kind of wreck me if I'm not careful. Okay, they're not doing hail. They're going to vilify. That lowers their hand size, too, for Yen Mega, which is pretty good. All right. I mean, we could just linear attack, target the Sneasel anyways. We'll attach. Bench Mewtwo. We're going to Chorus here. Nine cards. Can we find the Mr. Mime? We still don't find it. Holy crap. That's ridiculous. Still can't find the Mr. Mime. All right. We'll just hit the Sneasel. The Sneasel needs to get really lucky to kill my Yen Mega. Though it's highly unlikely it kills it. We got Twins though. So next turn we have the Mr. Mime. We can actually go Twins for Mr. Mime and an N. Or a Judge. And then we hope they don't put Electrode in play. Seems good. 
I know it's a bit of a it's a bit of a grindy game. It's fine though. Oh, they're gonna juniper. They're gonna dump their entire hand here. Yeah, it was a handful of items. This is why I need, we needed to end them while that hand was full of items. And they're gonna go for the beat up here. Will they KO me? They need to get. I think they actually need. They need all six heads to knock me out. Oh. Okay. Still out there, buddy. Holy. Oh my God, he came close. Yikes. <laughs> actually came kind of close. All right. Little twins. For Mr. Mime and N. Bench the mime. We will. We have to KO with this thing, but that's fine though, because you still can't damage me. Plus, we got the mime down. You could do portrait. But I don't think he wants to play N. He can't play twins either. So I'm just gonna linear knock this out. This deck, I mean, playing this deck is sort of similar to playing chess in a way, like the way you make your actions. Um, it's similar to chess. Now we hope they don't get electrode in play. They know my hand, though, which is pretty bad. No, they got the electrode. Crap. <laughs> okay, that's fine. They're going to portrait. They have four options. The best thing they can do is oak, which is probably where they're going to play. And then we're going to end them. We could also linear attack hit the electrode at some point. It sucks that that Sneasel had to do so much. But they might struggle another Sneasel in play. They can't get energy back. And they can't play Dark Patch, right? So it's like very unlikely they can get another Sneasel. Oh, they're going to Juniper. Well, they're going to deck out at some point, right? They're going to probably deck out. If only I had Muck still, I could have spammed Sludge Drag, which I probably would have liked to have done. Oh, they're going to end me. Fine. They're going to end me. That's okay. All right, let's see what we get here off this end. Okay, we got Copycat. We still got another Yum Mega. And if they try to bench a Sneasel or something, yeah, they just pass. All right, perfect. We can just knock out the Smeargle here. Copycat him. Knock out Smeargle. And... Fine by me. We didn't get much off that, so hopefully we get something out of the prizes. Silver Mirror. It's nice, but it's unfortunately too late to play it. There's another Sneasel. All right, this is where things get a little scary, because we have no way to match their hand. We're going to have to Lanier attack the Sneasel. They got an energy on it. Uh-oh. The hail fails. Uh, okay, enough with the animation. It doesn't work. Stop doing the animation. All right, let's see what we draw. DCE. Hmm. We can go... Attach. How much energy are they down? They're down four in the discard. Seven, eight. They're down eight energy. They have one energy left. What are the chances they have the knockout here? This is kind of bad. Because if they kill my Yen Mega, we are screwed. Because then we, we can't use Mewtwo because Mewtwo gets one hit KO'd by Vilify. This is why I wanted another Mew Prime in play. So we can mass attack this thing. I mean, they're down nine energy. Or eight energy, sorry. What are the chances they have another one? It's probably better to retreat the other Yen Mega. No, then they play another energy. They're probably going to play nine energy, though. Let's go into the other Yen Mega and pass. Here's what we're going to do. They're going to... If they attach to Weavile to attack me here, that's fine, because then they can't attach to Sneasel, and then I don't think they could do beat up again. They could Fury Swipes, get triple heads, and knock me out. Which would be a pretty good meme. Yep, they have to get rid of energy. We just make them burn their energy here. This is a tough game to win, not gonna lie. This speed up Sneasel kind of screws me over. We might not be able to match their hand either, because we have a dead hand too. Honestly, I don't know, man. This might be hard to win. Mewtwo doesn't kill the Weavile either. Even if... Okay, they just... Oh, they're out of Weavile now. Okay, so actually Mewtwo is perfectly safe then. If we can KO this. We do not. We are 10 damage short. We can Mew them. Mew does 110. Mew, per Mew does enough damage to KO them. Perfect. That's 110 damage. Just enough to knock them out. Okay. Oof, that was close. There's a rainbow. Okay. They have Sneasel. They have one energy left in their deck. And then we can attach the Mega and then Sonic Boom knock out the Sneasel. And that might just wrap up the game. Because I imagine, like, most Weavile decks only play 9 to 10 energy. And that's what I'm hoping. And if they KO my Mew here, it kind of sucks. Also, Beat Up doesn't do much damage. No, they can execute. Never mind. They can still execute. But then they execute, we can snipe with linear attack. Well played. I think that is game. Yep, there they go. They fail it. We got them. A bit of a slow grindy match. This deck is kind of slow and grindy though. 
And we can just retreat into the Yan Mega. I'm just going to kill with Yan Mega. Yep, they just conceded. Perfect. GG's. Very, very long grindy game. And actually, my opponent put up a really good fight that game because of the Sneasel. That actually gave me a run for my money. But as you can see, that is the point of the deck. It's a very slow grindy deck, but it gets the job done. It's a very fun deck to play. My favorite personal decks ever made. Now I'm going to buy a pack of Dark Explorers so that we can try to pull some cards. I, I don't really need much from this set, but I wouldn't mind pulling an extra like Dark Rifle alert or something. There are some still, there are still some cards I kind of want in this set. I have most everything, but I wouldn't mind pulling an extra card, like a fourth Dark Rifle Fuller. Wouldn't it be terrible. And no, we got Stoutland, which I didn't have. See, I'm missing some cards. We got a extra Dark Patch. All right, here we go into our next match with the Flareon Eon Mega deck. I think it's Arceus here. I think they're playing Verizon Genesect. I might have played against them earlier. So let's just bench everything. Bench the Mr. Mime, because if they're playing Verizon or Genesect, we need that. Uh, yeah, it is Verizon Genesect. All right. Flareon is good. The problem is Red Signal is very annoying and very disruptive to our core strategy. Our start's also kind of weak, too. We can Oak and hope for the best. That's a pity. All right, we'll retreat and then... Hmm. Portrait and hope they don't have a Juniper. Perfect, they have an Oak. Get us a new hand here. We need to get some Eevees down. There we go. Two Flareons, though. Got Super Rod. So let's get Eevee. Then we can bench it. We can actually attach the energy to it. Make them actually have to have the red signal play. I'd actually... Well, I didn't really get a good look at their hand, to be honest. I played that portrait too quick. I didn't really get to see what their hand was. They might have a knockout on my Eevee with red signal. But we're going to make them have the red signal. 2k on my Eevee. And if they don't have it, we can maybe heat tackle them if they try to attack me. I imagine they're not going to attack me, though. If they have it. Because they know they're going to walk into a Flareon knockout. But that's why we put pressure on them with the Omega Prime. All right, we'll see. We got the bicycle. Gotta be careful, man. That uh, red signal's bad. And the nice thing about Mr. Mime, though, it does protect us from getting uh, from our Yen Megas getting one shot. So that's what we're hoping for. The uh, Mr. Mime comes in clutch here because they, if they don't get a G Booster on, Megalo Cannon only does 100 damage, which can't one shot the Omega because Mr. Mime prevents them from doing the 20 damage. And they don't have the red signal. They attach return, which means they don't have it. So we just find a DC here. We can KO the Genesect with the Flareon. If we can find a DC. We could KO them with Vengeance, but it's super unlikely. We'd have to draw really well off of this. Well, we got the DC. We got a Super Rod 2. I could play it. Here's what we can do. We can Junk Arm. Or another level ball. Get another EV down. So we're not doing Vengeance this turn, right? So we don't have to use the... Yeah, we're not doing Vengeance, right? So we can go DCE, Super Rod, put back this, this, and this, right? So we're not doing Vengeance, right? So we don't really care about the Pokemon to discard. We can also put back a Flareon. We can Heat Tackle, knock them out. We didn't want to put the XQ back, obviously. So we can knock out the Genesect. And this puts us pretty far ahead in the match. They can still KO me this turn, obviously. But we might be able to respond to the KO of our own... Best case scenario, we would have been able to kill them with Vengeance that turn, so we can save the DC for another Flareon. We still have DCs in the deck. We still have the ability to attack with Yon Mega. As long as we set up two EVs, it'll be okay. We'll see if they get a knockout here. They just need to build up the Genesect in a single turn. And if they do that, then our uh, Flareon is a goner. There's a Skyro Bridge, which is a great card for us because it lets us promote Smirgle and use Portrait without needing a Floatstone to retreat it. Let's see if they knock me out. G Booster is gone. Now that's good. And a junk, two junk arm with the scrapper. Which makes Silver Mirror really good. Oh, they don't have much. Alright, well, we can just attach Bangle and just knock him out, I guess. I can't really do much else with this hand. I don't really Yeah, it doesn't really matter if we do Heat Tackle or not. I could have knocked about Vengeance, actually. I just realized because we had an execute in the discard. We'd done 30, 60, but we'll heat tackle. It doesn't matter what we do there. It doesn't matter if we take 10 damage, right? The, the HP doesn't matter really that much in this matchup. I'm not going to do anything. I don't want to judge him give him a new hand. I don't want to copycat. So, you know, chill out. Hold the hand. We have Ultra Ball and Computer Search plus execute in the discard. So, we can still attack with Flareon. And we should just run them over here. But they do have an N. But again, we have Smirgle. We need to establish Electrode so these Ns don't hurt us that much. Thankfully, they end us into a, a Flareon and a Juniper, which is kind of funny. I do feel a little bad. That was pretty good. But they'll knock me out. We Juniper. We try to find another energy 
and then we KO them. And if not, we just go with Yen Mega Prime. Potentially. We have Smeargle still. All right. I kind of feel bad. Uh, but that's that's the point of Flareon. It, it, it attacks, hits the best Pokemon in Legacy for weakness. That's kind of the point. Well, the best attacker in Legacy, not the best Pokemon. The best Pokemon is Vileplume. That was like a god tier top deck. Damn. Kind of feel bad. All right, let's Juniper. Um, there's Voltorb. There's Eevee. Grab level ball. If it lets us. There we go. Grab Yemma. And... I'm just gonna go... I'm still gonna do Portrait. Just grab Oak, yeah. If they had a Juniper, that's fine. Because we can still hit them with Vengeance. But that's fine. Let's do this. There's Yon Mega Prime. Then we can retreat into Flareon. And... Vengeance does... Enough to KO them. Thanks to the Silver Bangle. And I think the game is over now. I don't think they can stop me at this point. Um, this is the point of Flareon. I mean, yeah, Mega didn't really do much in this game, unlike the last two games where Yon Mega was the best attacker. But if we weren't playing against Risen Genesect, then Yon Mega was what we were going to use until we build up Flareon. If we're playing against Lando Garb or any other big EX deck like Rayquaza Electric, for example, we use the Yon Mega, then go Flareon. But in this matchup, we just want to play aggressive with Flareon. Because if we use Yon Mega, then there are EVs and Flareons get gusted up with Red Signal. We don't have an N in our hand, thankfully, so they can't portrait me into a bad hand. Um, they can copycat, which I have a seven card hand, which is still pretty big. But they have to do something that can survive a hit. And we have game in hand because we have computer search Flareon for DC. So yeah, that should be game over. And the uh, Miracle can't survive a hit from Yon Mega. Neither can thing. They're going to do a double portrait. They're digging. They're digging. That's why Flareon rules in Expanded. Or Legacy, sorry. In Expanded, you know what? I might try it out with Zoark. In Expanded, it could work with Zoark, which I think is actually something I might try out in the future. I have actually a few other Zoark decks. So I don't think we can KO this thing. There's Electro. That's huge. So now we can't get into a bad hand. We can't KO the active Deoxys. Even with the Bangalon, we're still kind of going to fall short. We can dump some filler stuff, though. And then we can... Uh, we could try to go Yon Mega here. We can go Yen Mega, save Flareon for a rainy day. We could do Lanier Attack and hit the Celebi Prime. And then basically say, well, if you don't have a Mr. Mime in your back, I can KO Celebi as a win condition. Not only do I have Flareon, but I also have Yen Mega. I don't hate that. But I don't want to give up the energy. I mean, we probably just want to attack him, right? To two-hit KO them. We might not have to draw... And then, I'm just going to attack. I don't really want to play the, put that there. I don't, yeah, I'm just going to Vengeance, right? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to two-shot the Deoxys, because it's the only thing that can survive a hit for my opponent. So we might as well just attack it, so it can't be used again. The Deoxys does let Genesect one-hit kill my Yon Mega, but Yon Mega isn't important anymore. I could have went Lanier there, but I don't also don't want to retreat and lose energy either. Even though we have Electrode established, it's not as bad. But I don't want to lose... Yeah, they have Mr. Mime anyways. So, there you go. Yon Mega was not going to work because they had the uh, they had the Mr. Mime. And if they don't move Deoxys, we could just win with Yon Mega. Go out in a blaze of glory. That's why this deck is so good in Legacy, though. Because it just counters Genesect so hard. Um, it's not the best Genesect counter ever because, of course, it's still weak to, like, Gust and stuff. But it's still a, it's one of the better fire decks that can actually take Genesect out in legacy and yon mega complements it pretty well as a nice backup attacker but that'll be it for the video guys on the three yon mega decks here overall the deck is a well all three decks are a ton of fun to play player on yon mega is probably the best genesect counter deck of course and mu yon mega is just a great grindy slow tactical deck it's a very tactical deck the best way to describe this deck is very very tactical it's one of my favorite decks to play i'm glad i built it it was an awesome deck and it's a ton of fun to play this one. This one you'll get more concedes out of because Vile Plume is really hard to beat. And then, of course, Prime Time. It's a bit more of a classic deck. It's probably the weakest of the decks in theory, but it is the most classic deck. If you want to play old school Pokemon TCG on PCGO, this is the best deck you can probably play to play old school TCG is Yen Mega Magnezone Kingdra. That'll be it for the video, guys, on the three Omega decks, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's legacy video. Again, might be the last legacy video I post the channel outside of the big legacy 
finale stream I decide to do. But that'll be it for today's PDCGO video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Legacy is going to be gone, and it is an amazing format that will be dearly missed. Hopefully one day in the future, you know, whether it be five or six years from now, Legacy returns to Pokemon TCG Live in the form of retro formats, which if they're going to make PDCG Live a huge deal, adding retro formats could be a thing that they do add, which I'm hopeful for. Like, I'm hoping retro formats get added to Pokemon TCG Live to play not even just the Heart, Gold, Silver stuff, but even the Diamond and Pearl stuff would be just sick. But we'll see if that ever happens. That would be a lot of coding, and it's kind of hard to pull that off with all the coding they'd have to do to make that work while making new cards also. But yeah, Legacy will be missed. I salute Legacy. This ain't the last time, though. Of course, the big Legacy stream is coming up, but it's going to be the last time I record, sit down and record a Legacy video. And that is it. The finale of Legacy, guys. What, what a format. What a format. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like on the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 22k subs. Thanks for all the support on the channel. Uh, check out Karkav and use code DF. Check out my Discord. Follow me on Twitch. Twitch is where I will be streaming the big Legacy tournament. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Peace out.